What up? Welcome back to another video, guys. Today we're gonna be doing an unboxing of the Atlas Rura 3.0. Boom! So right before we dive into this little thing that we're doing here, um, yeah, it's been like a month and a half that I've been waiting for this thing, so it's kinda left a very salty taste in my mouth. This, yeah, waiting for this thing here for a month and a half. Anyways, we can uh, open this up and see it together. I just took off the the sticker before and I opened it up, but I didn't really open it up because then I stopped myself and I kind of wanted to give you guys that reaction of me opening it up. So yeah, that's what we're doing here now. So on top, once we open it here, we're gonna have, oh, we got some cool Rurock stickers. And then we have a little booklet. This thing tells you everything about the helmet and blah, blah, blah. Pretty nice little touches here, nice design. Everything is obviously ew, nice packaged. Matter of fact, let's put this on the, on the floor and kind of like give you guys the uh, bird's eye view. So a really nice box. Everything looks really nice. And here we have the helmet. But before I show you the helmet, I also want to show you everything else. That, what do we have here? Some pin locks. Um, we got some visors as well. So everything comes really nice packaged up. Let's open this one first and we'll see what color this one is because uh, this is the black one. Very nice. Then, wait a minute. I had ordered. I had to order a gold visor, man. I guess this might be it. We'll see. We'll take it off afterwards. And then in this little slot, we're gonna have. Yay! My favorite part. I'm gonna be able to mount my GoPro to the chin of the helmet with this. Um, so that's one really cool thing about Rurock is that they offer that option right there. I love that. And right here we have the pin lock fog resistant lens. So your first time seeing this, my first time seeing this. So yeah, let's let's just let's just pull, 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 pull. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. Oh, this looks even better in person. Like I thought it was gonna be this like real gold gold color but it's like more of a brondish type of gold that's on like my low rider s let's give you guys a close-up so this is the front right here i love the design of this helmet um i gotta i gotta be honest i was on the fence a few years ago when they came out with the first one just because they were like you know new company new to like motorcycles i know they were already doing helmets for snowboarding and skiing or whatever whatnot um, but they're basically still new to the motorcycle culture. What I do like about the company that I'm gonna say is the fact that I've seen a lot of reviews, I've seen a lot of, and I, I've just been doing my research a lot. So one thing I do love about this company is that they actually do listen to their fans. They do listen to the people who are spending their hard earned cash on these helmets because these helmets are pretty expensive. Um, I mean, this helmet was around like 500 and something. So $500 for a helmet is a lot. I mean, for that money, you're you know you're thinking about these high-end helmets. Oh wow, this design is sick. Um, so yeah, so uh, the first one I was like, you know, like eh, I didn't, you know, I was off about it. The second one, from what I heard, they fixed all the little issues that the first one had. And now for the 3.0, I'm hearing that they fixed all the little issues that the second one had. So supposedly it's supposed to be a really good helmet. Um, it's really light. Um, it feels lighter than my Simpson. I have a Simpson, I have a Bitwell, and then I have a, another helmet there that I use for vlogging. I forgot the name of it, but that one's kind of shitty. Um, but this feels lighter than all those helmets. Um, the design, honestly, is one of the, the, the things that, you know, attracted me to it. I love the carbon fiber look on it. I love the, the, the streak little lines of the bronze lines in it. It's like a brownish gold. I love that on it. It looks super, super sick. And then, obviously, the front. The reason why a lot of people get these helmets is because that front just looks very intimidating. It looks really, really cool. Um, let's, uh, let's put it on. Let me show you guys the inside, the inside cuts right there. Pretty good. Um, what we're not gonna be doing today is give you a review, guys, because obviously, ooh, that, ooh, what? What? Look at that. That just snaps on. Magnetic, I love that, I love that. 
Um, I'm not gonna be doing a review. Obviously, I kind of want to have this and use it for a while before I give you guys an in-depth review, give you my honest opinion. Um, no, this helmet was not given to me, so um, yeah, I paid for this with my hard-earned cash. Um, let's put it on. Ugh, little tank to go on. This is it's small. I forgot. Ah, ooh, ooh, ooh. This feels. <laughs> I like this. This feels nice. I feel like it's it's snug. They do run a little big though because let me see. This feels very nice. Like it's. The inside, if, if they feel good, I mean, I, I kind of wish the cheek pads were like a little more padded because it does, there is some little type of movement going on here. And I did, you know, I, if, when you go online and, and you order this helmet, you're able to see the size chart and I actually have a uh, measuring tape in my house so I actually measure my head. Um, so it was for this size. Um, well, I think it was a medium or small. Uh, I'll tell you guys in a minute. But yeah, I took the, the exact measurements. But it still seems to be a little loose. Putting it on, it was like tight, but then once you put it in there, it feels a little loose. Um, yeah, I just, yeah, the cheek, I wish the cheek pads were like a bit more cushiony. Um, but besides that, it does feel good. It feels super, super light, man. Super light. Um, and then for the visor, we got, ooh, we got a one click, two clicks, three, four, five, six. We have six little options where you can, you know, put the visor wherever you want, which is pretty awesome. Usually you might get one or two or three and that's it, but you got six options here. I love that. Uh, okay, yeah, taking it off a little tight, putting it on a little tight, but once the helmet's on, like it feels really, not really loose, but it feels a bit loose. Now on the inside, right behind this, you're gonna have that ventilation option for you to open that, you know, ventilation up for you to get some airflow in there. You're gonna get some airflow through the sides, and then obviously the airflow is supposed to be coming out from here from the top and not from here from the back as well. Very, very nice design, man. Like, this thing looks, it just looks super, super, super badass. Um, quality seems good. There's like, there's like these minor scratches here. Dude, this is new. You probably won't be able to see it, but just around this area, I just... There's like these little minor scratches. Very, very minor. Like you would have to literally be up this close where I'm at to notice it. But it's it's a new helmet. I don't, I don't understand why it would, it would be that way. So I gotta email them and ask them why that is. To take off the visor, there's like two little switches on the side. Turn it, that comes out. We'll turn this one uh, counterclockwise. That pops out, and then boom, boom, the whole visor pops out. All right, so that's pretty simple to change. Um, I like that about it. Pretty fast to just on um, take off your stuff. See what this thing is actually gonna look like. Is it gonna be a goldish color or not? It is. It's kind of like a hint of bluish goldish. Yeah. Yeah, it is gold. Just yeah, it's it's pretty cool. It's just not like I'm actually happy that it's like a gold like this. It's very subtle. It's not nothing like boom in your face like gold. You gotta put that pin lock on there and then we're all set. Um, what I do want to do for you guys right now is obviously show you how to 
I'm gonna put my little um, GoPro uh, holder in the front. So we're gonna do that together as well. Ah. So that in the middle. I love this man, I really really love this. I love the fact that I could just, they make these GoPro mounts for these helmets, man. It's like right there in the perfect position as well. Right where it should be. This is awesome, I cannot wait to just set this whole thing up with my GoPro Moto Vlog setup and everything. And if you guys wanna see that, I might make a video for you guys, you can see it as well. Um, also, what I also gotta do is connect my Cardo. So, tune in for that Cardo review as well, it's coming up this week. Uh, I'm gonna be doing that with the BX Polymath, my guy. So, um, Cardo was awesome enough to work with me, so they, uh, sent some uh, those things out, so we're gonna be trying them out. Boom, pretty cool. I like, I like a lot. So overall, I am pretty happy with the looks of this helmet. I like the functionality of it. I need to try it out to make sure that it is gonna be kind of quiet uh, for the wind. Um, I don't wanna have a lot of wind noise, especially in a motor vlogging helmet. Um, it just sucks that I had to wait a month and a half to receive this thing. I know they have a lot of things going on where they have their own like warehouse now, their the whole distribution center is different, and their cheek pads are supposedly being made through a third company. I don't know what's going on there, but if, if you're not ready to fulfill your orders within due time, I don't think this helmet should have been out yet. I think everything you should have had been set accordingly and set up your warehouse and your company and have everything 100%. So when those orders are coming through, people won't have to wait a month and a half or two months. I know some people that have waited for two months already, like that that sucks. If you, you know, you, you're ordering a helmet and it take, it's taking you two months, like, come on, like we live in the East Coast. So the fact that I ordered this helmet a month ago, like that's, that's a lot of riding time right there that I didn't get to enjoy on this helmet. And yeah, we're in August already. Um, but besides that, uh, that's my only thing kind of left a very salty taste in my mouth. Like, what I do, and I will say, is that their uh, customer service, besides that, it is pretty good because I was able to, you know, message these guys a few times and uh, touch base on what's going on and everything. And they, they pretty much reached back out to you within like 12 hours or so. I mean, it's not the best, but yeah, I mean, at least I was still getting answers for what I needed, kind of. Um, that's gonna be it. Uh, if you're new to my channel, guys, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, I'm, this this helmet is gonna be match perfect with my 2020 Road Rider S. I also have a 2021 Road Black Special and this little sporty behind me, a 2019 Iron A83. So a lot of content, three bucks on the channel. We got some cool stuff like this going down. So make sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell button. And um, I'm gonna catch you on the next one. Like always guys, let the force be with you. Ride safe, ride safe with these. <laughs> and enjoy the ride, baby. Peace.